What's going on ladies and gentlemen, I'm the wizard and we are finally back with yet another episode, episode 6 specifically, of the best of COD wizard top 10, but yet again we're going to have to dumb it down to a wizard top 5 out of you 80 something viewers that watched last week's episode, only 6 of you left submissions, totaling out to a top 5, 2 of you doubled up. And I know this is a late episode, but please bear with me. The series will continue as strong as ever. So it's on you guys uh, to keep the series alive. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and definitely make sure to comment uh, your submissions. And you can also submit your votes on Twitter by tagging me at OsteerWizard and using the hashtag WizardTop10. Without further ado, let's jump right in to this week's top 10 or top 5 best killstreaks in Call of Duty history. Leading it off... We have its eight steps, and he says it is the tactical nuke for Modern Warfare 2. It was literally game-breaking. Now, that is literally true, because once you called in the tactical nuke, a 25 kill streak that you had to select out of your three possible options, it would give you a 10-second countdown, and then boom, the game would be over, the nuke would drop, and not only your team would die, but the enemy team would die. So, it just ended the game like that. Even if your team was losing, you would win the match. And it was just a purely uh, amazing thing that they added into the game. Uh, people would camp for it. People would boost for it. So in that aspect, it did break the game involving all of those negative uh, influence to overcome it. And then it was hugely popular in the YouTube community with people even doing fake nukes. Uh, there was a huge thing about that years ago uh, when Modern Warfare 2 was in its prime. But moving down the list to number four... We have Searchman coming back, and he says the EMP for Modern Warfare 3. Now, many people forget that the EMP was not a Modern Warfare exclusive because it was back in Black Ops 2, as you can see in the gameplay on screen. Um, but in both games, it was a support streak, uh, which I did prefer over uh, the assault kill streaks going back to the Modern Warfare days. Uh, because I was not necessarily the greatest of player back then. I couldn't always get up to a nuke like my man Jimbo Slice claims he does back in the old days of beasting and feasting. Um, shout out to Jimbo, by the way. He'll appear later in the countdown. Uh, but yeah, the EMP was really cool. If you're not sure what it does or what it did, um, it basically it looks like a nuke if you're looking at the sky. But then it just cancels out all of the enemy team's electronics. So kill streaks, certain equipment, mini maps all offline and that lasted for i want to say maybe 15 to 30 seconds and there was really nothing you could do about it there were perks that would um exempt you from the effects of the emp but overall i think it was even a little overpowered but still underappreciated but moving down the list to number three we're giving this one to see more butts and he's back again with the uh, Hunter Killer Drone from Black Ops 2. Now this was a brand new kill streak to the game. Brought a lot of excitement, especially early on in the lifespan of Blops, as it was referred to. Um, it basically looked like a little paper airplane. You would throw it up into the sky and it would pick out the nearest enemy and then it would start beeping. They could hear it and then boom, it would shoot down at them and hopefully kill them. It was possible to avoid whether you're really crafty with your jumping or dolphin diving, dipping in and out of corners and between walls and doorways. So it is possible to avoid, but once you start hearing the beeping, you're just about done for unless you've managed to get inside. Even so, it can make its way through doorways, and the best way to use it is to aim it at someone. If you're out in the open and you see someone with their back turned towards, if their back turned towards you, or even if they're about to gun you down, pull out the hunter killer, whip it at them, boom, you will be saved. Hands down, one of my favorite kill streaks from that game. And number two, like I said before, Jimbo Slice joining the fun here in the Wizard Top 5 countdown. And he is bringing us the Harrier Strike from Modern Warfare 2. And he says they were not only easy to get, but they were seriously overpowered on any map with an open area, which was just about every single map. They not only boosted your kills, but they gave you the all-important next step to obtaining the nuke. So, the nuke, it was an interesting kill streak because unlike the Moab, it's a close cousin in Modern Warfare 3, um, which was just a 25 gun streak, the nuke could be added on by any other kill streaks you use. So the Harrier, which usually gets you a good amount of kills, will add to the total for the nuke. So let's say you get the Harrier strike and then you throw up a chopper gunner or something like that, you'll probably get 
at least the 20 kills in those two kill streaks alone once you build up to it. So you're likely to come out of the chopper gunner or even out of the harrier strike with the tactical nuke in your pocket and then you can call it in whenever you're ready or maybe come out of it, pick up another one or two kills and then you can end the game with the nuke uh, that eight steps talked about at the beginning of the countdown. And then finally, our number one best kill streak of all time brought to you by Zoh My God Lin and uh, Azran Gaming is the AC-130, the Ass Clapper 13-0. Uh, a hugely popular fan favorite from Modern Warfare 2. And it was also brought back to Call of Duty Ghost just recently in a DLC. I believe, uh, what was the map? I want to say it was brought back for the map Dynasty. No, uh, on Dynasty, the DLC map for Call of Duty Ghost, they brought back the Harrier Strike, uh, which Jimbo talked about. And then they also brought back the AC-130 on uh, one of the maps. I'm totally blanking. Tell me in the comments down below if you can remember. There's, if you want to know more information about the Call of Duty Ghost DLC season, I'll include my playlist where I cover literally everything that was released as DLC for COD Ghosts. Um, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. But the AC-130, I mean, this thing was just such a beast to use. You had three different weapons while you're up there in it. You had like the machine gun, the, um, I guess, mini rockets, and then you had the big, the big ass clapper, really, uh, which was a single rocket that you could launch down a much bigger blast radius but it did take longer to reload um it was just an all-around awesome kill streak to use again very helpful to build up to the nuke and very intimidating uh when you're on the other team and you hear enemy ac-130 above go across the um the screen from the announcer and lynn also is throwing us a bonus submission this week and she says the VSAT, a.k.a. the Blackbird, a.k.a. the SR-71 from Black Ops 1 and 2, is also included in this countdown. It was basically an advanced UAV, so it shows the direction of the players, but it's not in waves. It's just a constant picture of where they're going and where they're looking, very similar to the Marauders map from Harry Potter. Uh, there's a little reference for you, but that concludes this week's Wizard Top 5 uh, Best of COD Countdown. Next week, we will be taking a look at the best camos across Call of Duty history. Now, this can include the default camos that comes with each game, or it, you can pick from any of the DLC camos released uh, across the board. And if you want to check out all the DLC stuff, like I said, I have a playlist on my channel that covers um, Black Ops 2 DLC and Call of Duty Ghost DLC and then upcoming Advanced Warfare stuff as well. So any camo that you're aware of, even for Advanced Warfare, you can drop it down in the comment section of this video using hashtag WizardTop10, or on Twitter, uh, you can mention me at OsteerWizard, and again, use the hashtag for your vote to count. That'll be for next week's episode. Next Saturday, I'll be sure to upload, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Call of Duty content and videos coming soon. And of course, for all things Advanced Warfare in the next few weeks, keep it locked right here on YouTube.com slash TheOsteerWizard. And until next time, Wizard out.